I would like to talk today about epicranial aponeurosis. This is a connective tissue structure that, as you see in the picture, it goes like from the forehead and all the way to occipital area. And again, it's a connective tissue that holds the muscle together. This is part of the muscle interlace and connect to. And it's responsible for a lot of our facial movement, but specifically forehead. And as you see in this picture, how many blood vessels and how many veins and arteries and lymph nodes and innervation is going on in here. So usually with the trauma or a lot of stress, a lot of connection, our muscle tends to tense and um, compress all of this vessel. And if it's repetitive problem with the time, this aponeurosis sticks to the head. If you have a small children, if you have young adults in your house, you can go ahead and see how easily it everything moves and nothing is sticking. There is no adhesions, there's no spikes anywhere. So I want you to do a test. Put your hands into your hair and start moving your head, skin, all around and see if everything moves freely. After you do this, grab your hair Okay, and kind of like try to shift all of the skin around. Okay, and see how easily all of it is moving. Okay, if you have any spikes, any adhesions anywhere, try to massage this area specifically. Okay, then grab your um, occipital area right about your uh, cheeks and then try to pull all of the skin up and then. Keep pulling it until you connect your fingers. If you have uh, a fold that form between your fingertips, you do have swelling underneath your skin or underneath your aponeurosis. There is more reason to keep massaging it. So, and then do the same from the front and from the side of the head. Like put your fingers on your hairline and the one around your occipital area and try to form this fold. Again, normally you should not have any fold. Your fingers should connect exactly. So I want you to include in your daily routine massage of your scalp and massage of your aponeurosis and just keep moving it forward and back and in circular motion, okay? You're grabbing your hair. You remember your uh, job is not to pull out your hair. You grab your hair and then you start moving the skin of the head all the way around, okay? Some hair will fall out, but doing this daily will actually improve the circulation and within the few weeks, you will notice how your hair is more lustrous and more voluminous. Also improve the wrinkles in your forehead, the headaches, and just wonderful relaxation technique. Have a good day and be your best yourself.